I've been wearing these concealers for 30 hours. I see no end in sight. They both look exactly the same as when I first applied them. Hey guys, it's Rachel and I bought every concealer in Sephora, which was $1,200. There was 44 total. And I'm gonna try every single one and find the best one. And I'm gonna judge them in four rounds. The coverage test, the cakey test, the long lasting test, and the final round where I have the top two highest scores compete to see which one outlasts the other. So this is the coverage test, but in order for them to get to the next round, they have to have a score of above average, so at least six. I'm gonna go from cheapest to most expensive. It says high coverage. Fortunately for us, I have the darkest dark circles. Give it a four out of 10. I feel like I wanna test it on my pimple. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with a four. But if it's buildable, that cancels out the full coverage thing. This pimple's coming in clutch today. Um, uh, I'm gonna stick with this one as a four. This one is actually just for acne and blemishes. I'm gonna give it a four. But buildability, four buildability. I just feel like I shouldn't still see the pimples or dark spots if I've concealed them. Another Sephora concealer. It's very thin. Is it buildable enough to cover my dark circle? If 11 year old me bought this concealer, I would still be self-conscious about my dark circle. So I give it a three. Rare beauty. If my shade is slightly off, Sephora I did not have my exact color. I'm doing it every other eye because I need to give them a break with the fact that they'll be wearing 44 different concealers. I'd give this one for coverage four. Six on buildability. So therefore, all in all, this one gets a six. Benefit, boing. That's pretty full coverage. I give this one a five for coverage. For buildability. I give this one a six. A beauty blender concealer. I give this a four on coverage. It's building pretty nicely. You get a five. Five's not bad. Five is just average. It's doing what the average concealer is supposed to do. But I'm trying to find the one that goes above and beyond what a concealer is supposed to do. Patrick, what you got for me? It's very thin. On coverage, I give it five. On buildability. Ability, yeah, you get a six. When did that happen? Why does it feel so natural? That is so thin. That feels like I'm like putting water on my face. Wow. I'm gonna give this one an eight. I drill concealer. Give this one a four. I use this concealer when I wanna build. I would give it a six for buildability. I've never used this one. I'd give them one a five for coverage. Let's see if it's buildable. I'm gonna stick to a five. This one is supposed to be a high coverage concealer. A six for coverage. Just imagine this is super Buildable? Well, I'll be darned. It is buildable. How much can you build it before it gets cakey? That's a question for the next round. I'm giving it a solid six. Five on coverage. Six on buildability. Milk? Um, I give it a four. I was right on the coverage one. I'll try a fourth layer. Five. Instant retouch concealer. Two for coverage. Four for being buildable. Self-setting concealer. Well, now I feel like I need to work it faster if it's self-setting. It's pretty average. Five. Comes with a lot of concealer. It's building. Five. I was like, which eye did I do last? Well, this one hurts more. So, that's very thin. I just automatically assume when they're really thin that they're not gonna be full coverage. I give it a two for coverage. I wanna try it on the pimple. No, yeah, I was right about the coverage. Four overall. I used to use this one when I was younger. I don't remember why I stopped. I'm gonna give this one an eight. I'm already on the seventh layer and it's not getting any more coverage. Four. It's been drop tested. Bottle doesn't break when it falls. It's not buildable enough for me. I'm gonna give this one a four. Six for coverage. A six for buildability. This is the only jarred concealer in all of Sephora. Oh. The coverage fully disappears as you blend it. I give this one a three. My face is starting to get red. This is so big. I got a good year before this is empty. Four for coverage. And the second layer took it away. Four. I'm gonna go with three. It has a very natural glow to it. I will keep this and use it as like highlighting the high points of my face. It's honestly pretty decent coverage for it being so lightweight. I give this a six. I've owned this concealer, but I also gave it away. Five for coverage. Let's see how it builds. Five overall. This one should only have one layer. I give this a six with coverage. I need to give my eye space. I would give that six. Oh, this is a stick. Um, a two. Brighten and correction duo. I'm on the brighten side. Oh, that is so much better. I'm gonna give it a five. Did it look this light in the bottle? That is Happy coverage. I'm gonna give it a seven. YSL. It does layer. I give it a six. Armani concealer. Coverage, I would give it a six. Let's see how it builds. I'm gonna try it on the pimple. Wow. I'm giving my first nine. This one's dark. So I guess I'll test it on my hand. Like my veins kind of covered up. It gets a five. This is so much concealer. Yeah. 
Potions. Five. Hourglass Vanish one. Five for coverage. Seven for buildability. High coverage concealer. Who is this enough coverage for? It gets a four. It looks like in the camera that it has coverage, but that's just because it's reflecting so much off the light. Like if I were to put a powder on top of this to make it not glowy, I'm doing it. Not enough coverage. I give it a four. I'm forward. I would give it a four. I'm also intrigued by the fact that there was only one other stick one. It does layer really nicely. It gets a six. Last but not least, are you really good or are you just glowy? You are really good. I give it an eight. A lot of them got disqualified but these are the ones that made it to the next round. Before we start round two, this video is sponsored by Cash App, which is the number one finance app in the app store and also the quickest way to send money between friends. And you can also invest on in stocks and Bitcoin with it. So if you want whichever concealer wins and you want $15 to go towards that, if you download Cash App and use the code YouTube, you get a free $15. You all have been very worthy components, but only some of you will be able to go on to the next round. They're gonna have to have a final score of at least 12 to get to the next round. A score of one would mean super cakey and a score of 10 means it looks like skin. I'm gonna blend these ones a little bit differently because I'm gonna try to test how cakey they are. I gotta give them at least some moisture. I'm gonna go from lowest score to highest score. Rare beauty. This wasn't the lowest score, but a lot of them got sixes. We're just gonna go with her first. In order to test how cakey they are, I'm gonna apply as much as I would need to apply if I was wearing concealer in a normal day. If I need to apply seven layers in order for it to get the coverage that I need and it ends up being super cakey, it's gonna get a one on the cakey scale. This is about how much I will wear. This doesn't look cakey. We'll say it settles into my wrinkles a little bit. I'm gonna give this one a six. Boing. I do like it. It looks like I'm wearing concealer, which is not a bad thing. You expect when you wear a concealer for it to look like you're wearing concealer. I hope to find one that doesn't. I'm gonna give it a five. One size one. For me to get the coverage that I want, it needs so many layers that it just becomes cakey. I'm gonna give it a three. Fenty. That took about 10 layers and it's not cakey yet. I'm gonna give it a six. Makeup for everyone. Yeah, this one's pretty cakey. I'm gonna give this one a four. Kosas one. You could see it sitting on my skin. It's not really melding into it. I'll give it a five. Tarte Shape Tape. Five. Laura Mercier. Slightly more on the side of skin than concealer. I'm gonna give it a six. Useless Concealer. This one leans more towards the skin side than any of the other ones. Seven. Pat McGrath. This one really leans towards skin, actually. Seven. Yves Saint Laurent. It looks like I'm wearing concealer. Five. La Mer. Like it's fine, not getting $85 worth. I'm gonna give you a three. Hourglass. Yeah. Six. Bare Minerals. This one looks like skin. Eight. This feels like the one pound of makeup in my face video, but just with extra steps. Charlotte Tilbury. No, that's cakey. I give it a three. It. It looks like skin. However, because it's so creamy, I don't know how long it'll last. Same with the creaseless one. This has an eight. This is the most expensive concealer I've ever seen. It's nice. It looks like I'm wearing concealer. I'll give it a five. It's not doing any more or any less. The Armani concealer. That really looks like skin. I'm kind of shook right now. Hmm. 10. A lot of them were disqualified from this round, but these are the ones that made it to the next round of the long lasting test. Concealers are meant to be paired with primers and powders, but I'm not gonna. I wanna see how they stand on their own. But the top two of this round, we're gonna test with primer, powder, setting spray, and see which one outlasts the other. Let the games begin. It is now tomorrow, and I have surprisingly only developed one new pimple. There are now 10 concealers left. I'm going to apply two concealers to my face at a time, from the lowest points to the higher points. These both got 12 points total. Rare beauty, Fenty beauty. Here's how it's starting. Let's see how it lasts. It has now been six hours. Here's the before and after. The rare beauty one is fully off. Maybe it really needs a powder and a setting spray. It gets a two in terms of how much it stayed. The Fenty Beauty one, is it on that much? No. I'll give this one a three for how it stayed on. Another day, another concealer. Part one, Laura Mercier one. Here's how they look at the beginning of the day. Let's see how they look in six hours. In six hours, they're both kind of on. I'd give the Tarte one a three, and I'd give the Laura Mercier one a five. Next up, Hourglass side, Pat McGrath side. This is them before. See you at the end of the day. Okay, it's the end of the day. Both concealers are still on, not like a lot. This one technically stayed on more, but the way it faded is all weird. There's like a harsh line. I'm gonna give this one a five. It faded pretty averagely. And I'm gonna give this one a three. It's now the next day. There's a huge price difference in these. Bare Minerals. Tom Ford. Here's the before. Let's see the after. Okay, it's the end of the day. So 
side note, this side is not as waterproof because you can see the tear that fell down while this side is no tear. I would say the Bare Minerals one is on more, but the Tom Ford one looks more natural. I know why the Tom Ford one looked more natural. It's not really on anymore. I'm gonna give this one a seven and I'm gonna give this one a five. Last ones, It Cosmetics. This one just looks like I have like a lotion on. Here's how they both look. I'll see you at the end of the day. It's the end of the day. This looks like all the other concealers looked when I first applied them. I wanna try seeing how it looks half and half. This is how much this one is on. This is how much this one is on. I'm gonna give this one a six and I'm gonna give this one an eight. That means that the top two that I'm gonna test tomorrow with primer and powder and setting spray are these two. I wish you good luck. The final test, the top two. But first I'm gonna do primer, then concealer, then powder, then setting spray. The way I normally do my concealer. Bare Minerals side, Armani side. Here's how they look before. I wanna see how long they stay on. I'll sleep in them if I have to. Here's my dilemma. I wanna go to bed. Here's how it looks after 18 hours. They both look exactly the same as when I first applied them. Like, do I, do I sleep in it? I'm gonna sleep in it. So, I've been wearing these concealers for 30 hours. This is what they look like. I see no end in sight. I wanna wash my face. I will say they have faded a little bit. The audacity, this is them half on, half off. Let's say when I first applied them, they were at 100% concealed. I would say the Bare Minerals one after 30 hours is now at 70% and the Armani one is now at 80%. Here's what I will conclude. The Armani one is the official winner of this video. The Bare Minerals one was an incredibly close second. A good third is the Bye Bye Under Eye one. It's super creamy if you have dry skin. I'm gonna go wash my face.